Hi there yogis, welcome to Bend with Bree. Today we're going to do a pranayama practice. Pranayama means breath work. And the pranayama practice that we're going to do is called Chandra Vedana. Chandra means moon in Sanskrit and Vedana means to pierce. And so before I do any type of pranayama practice, I love to get seated on a little bit of height. And so you'll see that I'm on a blanket right now. You could use a block or a bolster, a pillow, whatever's comfortable for you. You could even roll up the edge of your mat and sit on that, um, but I'm using a blanket today. And I try to sit more in front of my sit bones and sometimes that means grabbing your thigh, internally rotating it, and then doing that same thing with the other thigh and sitting down. So you have a really more in line lumbar spine, that low part of your back. That's what that seated posture does for you. And so what is Chandra Vedana Pranayama? What is it meant for? This pranayama really invites like a soothing, relaxing energy to your field. And it's quite perfect for today because today is a full moon and it's a full moon in Scorpio. And we have a lot of lunar energy kind of going around and so why not invite some more? We'll start with the Prana Mudra, bringing your pointer finger and your middle finger to touch. Your hands can face up seated on your knees. And if this seated posture doesn't feel good for you, you say like no way, you could go crisscross or you could even take Virasana on your knees, but I would put a block in between your heels so that you could sit on a block to support your posture a little better. Wherever you're at, get in a comfortable seat and find your mudra and rest the mudra on your thighs. And prana mudra. What does prana mean? Prana means life force. So bring prana mudra with your right hand to your third eye. So the middle finger and the ring finger to the third eye. Or middle finger, sorry, middle finger and pointer finger to your third eye. Bring the ring finger to the outside of the left nostril and the thumb finger to the outside of the right. Start with an ujjayi breath. Breathe down into the pit of the belly. Slightly constrict your throat and breathe out. When you breathe with ujjayi breath, your breath may become a little bit audible. Maybe it'll sound like the beginning of a snore or a slight whisper coming in from the back of the throat. One more ujjayi breath in. And ujjayi breath out. Stay with the ujjayi breath. Cover your right nostril and inhale ujjayi through the left. Plug the left nostril and exhale ujjayi out through the right. Plug the right. Inhale through the left. Plug the left and exhale out through the right. Inhale again through the left. And exhale through the right. Try to keep the fluctuation of your breath the same. So inhale for the same amount of seconds as you would exhale. You're only breathing through the left nostril and exhaling out through the right. So try adding a count on. Inhale for count of one, two, three, four. Exhale out through the right for one, two, three, four. Inhale through the left for one, two, three, four, and exhale out through the right for one, two, three, four. Stick with this breath work for about another minute on your own.
as your mind starts to wander, bring the attention back to your breath, maybe bringing your attention to that count. And the next time you breathe out your right nostril, bring prana mudra back down to your lap. Sit tall through your spine, keeping the eyelids closed or slightly open with the gaze towards the ground. Notice any shifts that the pranayama has created in your psyche, if any shifts at all. And from here, you can continue on with the pranayama if you'd like. You can head into a meditation. Or if that's enough for you today, slightly blink your eyes open, invite some light in. Bring your hands to a prayer by your heart to Anjali Mudra, a deep gesture of offering. Bring the thumb to the third eye. The light and the darkness in me bows the light and the darkness in each and every one of you. Namaste.